Hey team, today I'm going to walk you through creating a report on session totals. From the home screen, select the reporting tab to the left hand side. Next, select session totals. As you can see, I can choose a date range or a single date, as well as a weekly, bi weekly, and monthly period. For the purposes of this demo, I'll just choose an arbitrary date range. Majority of coaches use this feature to uh, conduct a review uh, as they plan out their micro, meso, and macro cycles. Uh, so this will give you the ability to, to look back on everything you've programmed and get a better understanding of how each athlete performed at a higher level. Uh, obviously, it's great for year-end reviews or planning for off-seasons, in-seasons, etc., but also providing ADs, sport coaches, ATs, or anyone else within the department uh, with a really good insight and view of, of each athlete's performance. As you can see to the right of each individual metric, I have that arrow icon. This will allow me to sort from highest to lowest. As I hover over each individual metric, I'm given the exact specifications and how we calculate each metric. So metrics of note here are the active time, which actually takes a look at how long the push band has been on over the course of that time period or for that individual session. As you can see, total active and rest time as well as time under tension is a bit skewed here just because these are demo accounts, so keep that in mind. Some other metrics of interest are volume density as well as work density, which look at work or mechanical work over total time. Along the bottom, we have the team average, max and min, which is pretty standard. And with any report we generate, we can easily visualize this by clicking on the graph icon to the right. This will just give me some really good insight into who's above and below that team average, as well as athlete to athlete competition.